Well, Secretary of State was just wrong. She said she did not participate in this, and yet only a few months before the attack, she outright denied security in her signature in a cable. Turns out that every cable that goes from the State Department has Hillary Clinton's name. Hundreds of thousands of cables, millions of cables. The Washington Post looked into this and called the allegation by the House Republican chairman a whopper. First of all, lying to the American people, deliberately premeditated lying to the American people, everyone knows is wrong. So when they say that it was to protect classified information, as Congress, we have an obligation to find out if that's true. Because clearly the American public was deliberately misled. These talking points were changed. Republicans on Capitol Hill claimed that they had found proof of this in White House emails that they leaked to reporters last week. Well, it turns out some of the quotes in those emails were wrong. The one interesting thing to say in defense of the White House is there is no indication in any of these emails of any partisan uh, deleting, scrubbing of the facts. There, sir. There is no evidence, Scott, the White House orchestrated these changes. Secretary of State. The Secretary of State. Secretary Clinton. Secretary Clinton. Secretary Clinton. Secretary Clinton. Secretary Clinton. Secretary Clinton. What we have seen over the past two weeks is a full scale media campaign that is not designed to investigate what happened in a responsible and bipartisan way, but rather a launch unfounded, of unfounded accusations to smear public officials. The real scandal is us not addressing our embassy security, us not addressing keeping our diplomats safe. 